Pop-up forms are a great way to generate leads from your website. And today we're gonna to show you just how easy they are to set up inside of HubSpot. Welcome to HubSpot Hacks, where we help you get more out of HubSpot. Pop-up forms might be considered a little bit old fashioned in the world of digital marketing, but they're still a really powerful way to turn your website into a lead generator for your business, as long as they're done well. Luckily, HubSpot makes it really easy for you to do them well, and you can add them to your website even if your website isn't built on HubSpot. So let's dive in. All right, so here we're on the forms page. You get here by going to marketing, lead capture, and forms. And it'll take you to this page here. We've got a nice list of all the forms you've created. So we're gonna go to create a new form here. And you can see right away you've got the option to create a regular form or a pop-up form. So obviously today we're talking about pop-up forms. So we're gonna go ahead and click that option and click next. And the first thing you're gonna see here is several different types of pop-up forms we can create. So we can create a traditional pop-up form. It'll pop up over your web page like this. There's a banner that drops down from the top one that slides in from the left, or one that slides in from the right. Um, so you can click any of these. Today we're just gonna do a traditional pop-up box, so we'll go ahead and click on that, and hit next. So now is when we start editing the settings on our pop-up window. So the first thing it's gonna let you do is upload a featured image. So you can either upload one from your computer, or browse the images you already have in HubSpot. So we're gonna go ahead and select this nice little HubSpot Hacks logo. And you can see it actually builds this preview for you in real time. So uh, right now our call out text is sign up for email updates. We're gonna leave that. If you wanted to enter any copy here, you could enter whatever you wanted there. And you can also change this button. So let's say we wanted to say sign up instead of subscribe now. All right, and again, it's building that preview for you in real time over here, so you can see exactly what your changes will look like. And then you can also change the theme color, which will change things like the color of this button here. It'll also change the button on the form. So you can pick any of their pre-selected options here, or if you've got a hexadecimal code for a brand color, you can pick one of those. Let's say we're gonna go with red for now. So after you're done setting up all these settings on this first thing that they'll see when the pop-up comes up, you're gonna hit next and you'll get to adjust that form. So as soon as they click on whatever button you have here, so right now we have sign up, as soon as they click on that sign up button, it's gonna take them to um, a page that looks like this, it'll be right inside that pop-up still. So you have the option of adding more copy here. You can see it shows up just above the form. And then you've got your form field. So if you wanna ask just email, that's already built in there for you, but let's say we also want their first name click on that, and that gets added as well. If I wanna change the order of this, I can do that really easily. Oh, it's gonna make me do email first. Oh, there we go, it worked for me. All right, you got first name and then email. If you wanna change the button, you can change this. So we're gonna have this one say sign up as well. Um, if you're GDPR compliant, you can show those options here. You can also change the language. And then you can set whatever life cycle stage you want them to come in as. So we want them to come in as leads, so we're good to go. You can hit next now. So as soon as they hit that sign up button after filling out the form, it's gonna show them your thank you message. So you get to edit that thank you message here. By default, it's gonna give them just this link where they can close this and go back to the page that it popped up on. But if you want to add a button, you can. You can add a button um, and let's say, it says read more by default. So let's say we wanna leave it as read more and we want to take them to a HubSpot page or blog post. So we're gonna select that option and we're just gonna pick this top blog post there. So now after they're done filling out this form, they can hit read more and it'll take them to whatever page you have selected here. You can also let them download a file right away. Um, you can have them book a meeting through the meetings link. If you don't have that set up, we've got a nice video that shows you how to do that. Um, or you can take them to a non HubSpot URL. You've got a whole bunch of different options here. After you're done there, this is where HubSpot pop-ups get super powerful. You can actually automate emails to go out right after they follow, uh, right after they fill out that form. So if you want to send out any follow-up emails, you're just gonna click this create follow-up email button here. And it actually allows you to create the email right inside here. So we're gonna say thank you. So 
So now, if I, as soon as I save this, if anybody, anytime anybody fills out that pop-up form, they'll get this email. If you want to send them a series of emails, you can actually add more emails here. It's similar to sales sequences if you use that tool or workflows if you use that tool. So you can send a delay. Let's say we want to send them an email two days from now um, and you could put whatever copy you wanted in here. So we'll just put test in here for now. And now they're going to get this email as soon as they fill out the form. The system will wait two days and then send out this email. So really powerful stuff that you can do right inside the form builder. And now you get to adjust all of your options. So again, this is why HubSpot pop-ups are so powerful because you've got a whole bunch of different options for where they show up, how often they show up, how long it takes for them to show up. So the first option you get here is what pages you want to show the pop-up on. So by default, it's all pages, but let's say you've got a blog post with a really relevant content offer and you only wanna show a pop-up for that content offer on that blog post, you could pick just that specific URL. So you would put is, and then you would just type that URL in here. But for now, we're gonna leave this to all pages. If you wanted all pages, but maybe one or two pages on your website, you could also have it set to all pages and then add an exclusion rule. And then under the, that exclusion rule, enter the URLs where you don't want the pop-up to appear. So we're gonna leave that off for now. And then the next set of options you have is when the pop-up actually, um, actually shows up for the user. So you can have it show up after the user scrolls half the way down the page. You can have it show up on exit intent. So that would be anytime somebody's cursor goes off to uh, close the window or close the tab. Um, or you can have it set, show up after a certain number of seconds. And you can also select multiple options here if you want. It recommends the, um, the type of options for the type of pop-up you have. So for the just generic pop-up, they recommend exit intent. That's what we have set up on our website as well, and it works really good. So then you have scheduling, so you can um, make it so that it doesn't appear until after a certain date, but we want this to appear right after we publish it, so we're gonna have don't schedule. You can have it turn off on small screen sizes, which we recommend most of the time. Uh, Pop-ups can make the user experience kind of difficult on cell phones. Um, so we have it turn off on small screen sizes, it only shows up on desktops or other large devices. Um, once somebody submits, uh, dismisses the pop-up, then you can have it show up uh, at a certain length of time after they've dismissed it. So that way you're not bugging them every time they come to your website with the same pop-up. So let's say the pop-up shows up, I click the X, as it's set up right now, I'm not gonna see that pop-up again for two weeks, but I can change that. So I can make it one day, one month, or a few options here in between. So I'm gonna leave it two weeks, that looks good to me. You can have a notification email be sent internally, um, so it can be sent to yourself or a member of your team, or you can have it not send any notifications if you prefer. Uh, you can send opt-in emails if you have those set up, so they can opt in to future um, emails from your company. And then you can also change the subscription type of the emails that get sent on those follow-up emails. And then the last option you have here is if you're using a different email provider than HubSpot, let's say you're using something like MailChimp, you can have that um, push contacts over to that email provider as well. So once you have all of those settings set up, you're able to preview your pop-up. So it looks just like this. I hit the sign up button. It's gonna take me to the form. I fill out that form. Hit sign up. It's gonna make me actually put some stuff in here. And I'm gonna get my thank you message. And if I click this read more, it's gonna take me to that URL I had set up. All right, so I'm done doing this. It looks like I have one error, so let me pop back over to options. <laughs> and it's because I didn't change this back. So I'm gonna put this as all pages. And we should be good to go. It'll show me if I have any errors, but nope, looks like we're good to go. So I'm gonna hit next, back to that preview screen, and I'm gonna hit publish. I'm not actually gonna hit publish because this is why it's so easy to set up pop-ups. If you already have HubSpot integrated with your website, or if your website is built on HubSpot, then hitting this publish button is actually gonna make it live right away. So we've got a video that shows you how to integrate it with WordPress. If you haven't done that yet, you can go check that out. Um, but if you've done that and hit publish, this pop-up will be live on your website as soon as you hit publish. So since we've got a bunch of test copy in there, I don't want this live on our website, so I'm gonna skip that step for now, but that's all there is to it. Now you know how to create pop-ups. If you have any other questions about this video or something you wanna see us cover in the future, go ahead and leave them in those comments below. 
And always remember, for more HubSpot hacks, how-tos, and tips, go ahead and hit that subscribe button.